Welcome back everybody. I'm going to try something a little bit different this video. We're going to do a estate sale, you know, tool, you know, what did we get type of thing. Uh, what was it, probably about a month or so ago? You, you were out here visiting and we picked up a whole bunch of stuff. This big file cabinet was one of the things. Picked up the whole cabinet and the contents, what was it, 40 bucks? So we're, we haven't even 100% been through it yet. We've just been, gotten put in the garage and that was kind of it. So we figured it might be kind of fun to uh, go through what's in it, what we got. You know, some of there's a few things in here we're not even sure what they are. So maybe you guys can comment below and let us know what they are. The bottom drawer was full of electric drills. drills. Old, old, old drawer full. Yeah. Most there must have been six or eight of them in there, yeah. yeah. They, they were nothing special, just, you know, Black & Decker's and yeah. whatever. But, so we already but took, they all worked. We, yeah, <laughs> we plugged them all in. They're in the basement at the moment. Yeah, we, we had to try them out. That yes. one's pretty uneventful. Sandpaper. Sandpaper. All different things. What was this one? Is that That's a, a polishing abrasive tape. For getting into real small. Oh. Real small like uh, lathe. lathe work, yeah. mostly for polishing real small stuff, real narrow. Another one there, same thing. Just a ton of different sandpapers. And a lot of brand new discs. Oh, yeah. We didn't even know what we were getting really. We were kind of looking at the cabinet. And yeah. The guy says, do well, you want to make a deal on the whole what's everything in it and I'm like sure tune up the cabinet bring it back home and we kind of the plan is to put all of our like lathe tooling and machine tooling bits and stuff in there you know clean it all up tune it up give it a paint job a couple engravers engravers we don't even know what's all in here yet. no we haven't even really been through all this so we're kind of exploring this the same time as we're showing you uh, for like a clamps, some sort. I was going to say for like a chop saw. Sometimes they come with those. Could be yeah. clamps up under the fence. Level C clamp. Little, little hand clamps there. A little handy one. A little rinky dink one. Rinky dink, but sometimes that's all you need. Yeah. And obviously we're not going to go through every single thing in this yeah. cabinet because there's a ton of stuff in here. But... There's a mega plumb bob. Yeah. Put a string on it. And Lufkin. Oh, it's actually, I thought it was like yeah, a homemade no, thing. No, it's an action name brand. Huh. Brad nails. Brad nails. A plate for a level? What was that? I don't know what this is. It almost looks like graphite inside there. Stanley. Yeah, it's like from a old yeah, wood level. It's like a tube of graphite. Graphite? Powder? Powder, yeah. Huh. Put a tweezers. Tweezers, yeah. How about a nail pan? <laughs> Farmers Kenmer, Union Lumber. Kenmer, North Dakota. <laughs> Farmers Union. Hot glue gun. Hot glue gun. Two of them. Two glue. Three of them. Three. This is one of those guys that, yeah, if he had one of anything, he had 12 of that same thing. What do we got here? Pry bars. Yeah, nail pullers. A lot of guys don't know what those are. Why don't you show them that? So say you got a nail, you know, stuck in the wall or whatever. You can't grab with a hammer. Hammer it onto the nail head. If you had a nail here, it could show you, but yeah. you know, you just boom, boom, and then you pry it. Grab it. It and pinches then... the it pinches the nail, and then you got this to pry against and pull the nail right on. It's, you don't use, don't them, use them much no. anymore, but typically it's all faster. <laughs> or a little cat's paw kind of does the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Some, some, uh, cement. Cement tools. Punching, them. punching, punching holes in cement blocks works real good for them. Another one. Big soldering iron there. 
Yeah, needs a handle needs on a it. a handle. Just a little miscellaneous, a whole bunch of utility knives. Big rasp. Rasp, paint, paint scrapers. What's this one? A little sanding stick. <laughs> a little piece of emery cloth on there. That's kind of handy. Hmm. Getting into tight spots. A couple little pocket knives. Yeah. There you go. Itty bitty plane. For Part of a yeah, bigger plane. Some of the stuff is just, you know, ain't worth A lot of it's nothing special, but. It's just kind of fun. Uh, this little, little Stanley hand plane there. That was always coming handy. What's this one about? Uh, some Scraping kind of a, grout or something? Could be. Just a little scraper tool. Or a score for like. Cement Scorn, maybe. cut in plastic. Yes. You know, I guess you could use it for a lot of things. Drawers need a little, little work, need a little loving. Yeah, there's a lot of Some cool more. stuff. This was that one we were finding. There's a big iron. Yeah, big soldering iron. Oh, that might come in handy when we start uh, doing making uh, gas tanks yeah. or whatever. <laughs> little one. A whole bunch of them irons. All missing the handles except that one. A little steel roller. A bunch of nail sets or uh, saw sets. And again, most people might not know what that is. Why don't you explain that one a little for, bit? For putting set in it, you know. Got a little adjustments here and you set it and then you just go along like that and it puts the... Every other tooth every other goes tooth the other direction. Back and forth. Because the teeth actually got to be wider yeah. than the width of the blade, yeah, so you got a, curve, a curve for the saw to dust to come out. Right. There again, everybody uses sawzalls nowadays. So you, yeah. <laughs> you just throw in a new blade. But well, you used to do quite a bit good. of that right. saw sharpening back in the day. Yeah, you know, it's a, that actually has the the saw sharpening machine to machine actually do for that. Sharpening hand saws, yeah. but nobody uses hand saws not, anymore. Not much, not much. Little uh. A little adjustable square here for cutting hip and valley rafters, and then we got a mark there for your door sill angle and your window sill angle. If you're making, you know, if you're actually replacing, making a part, but there again, not too many people do that anymore. No, back when everybody the windows were actually wood windows and stuff. So, okay. This tool, we're not sure what it is. It says on the side of it, General Cement Manufacturing Company. But it almost looks like a stripper tool there of some sort. Yeah. And then this part almost looks like a like a nibbler for we tried it on a piece of tin and it worked really great. Put a nice little notch in the tin there, but we're not sure what it really is for. So yeah, if you know what those are, leave a comment below because yeah, we've never seen that one before. We don't know what that one is exactly. Show them that, yeah. Nice little uh, uh Okay, I gotta compare. I'll show you, I'll grab mine. So I got what we consider a, a normal one of them as far as how they work. It's the same tool. But it uh here, show them how they work. This is typically the ones you see nowadays. You know, just a wing nut on it. Yeah. Set angles, whatever. Tracing, cutting, whatever angles. But this one is an old one. You loosen the thing on the end there. Same thing. Set your Same angle. Same tool. But and then you just tighten that up instead of the wing nut on there. I thought, well, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's so oh. like I was looking yesterday, I was like, how the heck does that mechanism work? It must yeah. be this chunk here must be on an uh, like an eccentric. Yeah, it's like a long where, needle. Where it pulls it in sideways. And there's a little taper on the end there, so it must uh, tighten it on the end. I just thought that was pretty neat. Yeah, I've never seen one like that. What is it, old Stanley? It's a it Stanley. Yeah. yeah, number eight, number eighteen, Stanley, eight inch. 
That's kind of neat. Old tool. Black and white toolbox. Oh, I lots of drill bits. A whole bunch of sawzall blades. Another little shop level one. Laser on it. That one even's got a little laser in the end. Have to put some batteries in there. That see works. If it works. <laughs> mm, stone package of coping, coping saw stone. blades. A little adjustable square. A little compass here. You know, one of these. What do you call them? Uh, I don't know. Uh, push drill, whatever. Yeah. I don't know. Old school, or whatever. Most people don't use them anymore yeah. either. Here, do they can do it one hand. Yeah, it's just kind of goes in and out. That one doesn't work. It works. It works. It did. This is a cheaper one though. There's another one in another here. Another one somewhere here. That works better. There's the yeah, better one. A bigger, older one, but it's got the reverse on it and everything. So again, a lot of younger guys, even my generation, probably haven't Put a drill in there seen one of them. Hand drill if you don't want to carry an electric drill or anything with, or battery. And... Oh, this is kind of neat. We've got a knockout for metal. So like electricians use them electricians a lot. Electricians use them a like, lot, yeah. So you want a, a punch a hole in a, punch a hole breaker in box, cabinet, yeah. you know, for a piece of conduit where there isn't a pre-punched hole. We got oh, there. just cleaning. It's like gun cleaning cap, uh, little pads. Old pads, sure. Got a bunch of drill bits, a little pipe wrench. Some big drill bits. Yeah, we'll use those. Yeah. Rubber mail. Steel. Thing of. <laughs> there's all, probably all, there's the all your truck keys for the there. drills. Yeah, little, yeah. Little burr bit there. Some more drill bits. Another one of those push drill screwdriver type there. It's actually kind of an interesting, uh, <laughs> you know, it's always slides yeah, back and yeah, forth when yeah. you put a bunch of little spacers on there. A little extendo, probably drill or tap extendo, you know, for oh. extension. Got a little set screws in there for sure. tightening down. Try for these bigger ones. Oh. Tapered reamers here for something. Eighth to a half. I don't know if that's a, a certain, like a Morse taper or something. I'm not sure. There's another bigger one over here. Kind of rough. Kind of rough. They're all chipped up, but they might be good enough just to clean up something someday. Yeah. This is here. I think a that's another, rivet, another type of riveting. I know we got some other ones that are for... Uh, uh, like putting the little brass rivets on, on the old brake pads. Sure. Kind of rolls them over. What do we got there? That's, that's a, I think they'll put a little scribe in there, I think is what that is. There's an exacto oh, an exacto yeah, blade. Well, we got it? here. Oh, it's a little tiny drill. Here's the little drill bits are in there. Little tiny hand. Hand drill. Oh, I suppose that's the for, chuck. That's oh. the chuck. I suppose, uh, you know, a little fine work if you're just cleaning out. Well, I say like carburetors in it, but I'm sure it wouldn't be that. But uh, that type of a deal, mm -hmm. though, and just a little tiny fine little, work. Really fine woodworking or something, maybe. Yeah. Another wedge for a hammer handle. Yeah, you can yeah, always yeah. use them. Another big long. That's a I don't know, what kind taper of, tap. That's a pipe there. tap or whatever. I've never seen them so long like that. Oh. But, mm. Well, would that be for different size? Yeah, I don't know. Taps don't know all the, in one? I don't know. I don't, I don't know if the threads. The threads are Aren't the same some of them that's the same threads for inch? Some of them are, yeah. Diameters? Yeah. yeah. A lot of little things okay. up in this drawer. What have we got? Some compasses. Okay, I got one for you. It's a regional thing. What do you call this? Leave a comment below. What do we call them? Snap line. Well, or chalk box. Or chalk box. Chalk box. I, I know I did that at work when I first moved out here. And my boss looked at me like, what are you talking about? You know, a chalk box. You mean a chalk line? Yeah, chalk box. 
Oh, chalk box is a chalk line. <laughs> or you, you, you can use it for plumb bobs too. You can use it for a plumb bob yeah. too, yeah. But I think that's kind of a regional thing, yeah. chalk box. Like, oh, okay, I got another one for you guys. A rubber snubber. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a regional thing. I pulled that the other day and same thing. Guys I work with looked at me like I had two heads. You know, it's a bungee cord. Bungee cord. No, it's a rubber snubber. Specifically, specifically like the black uh, ones like the uh, semi truckers, truckers use, yeah. you know, that's a rubber snubber in our world. And some clipper oil if you need to lube up your uh, hair clippers. Hair clippers? <laughs> I just got a haircut today, so I'm good. <laughs> uh, yeah, lots of junk, but there might be some oh, good got stuff some in here. little compasses and big boy pencil. Green Lake Lumber. Green Lake Lumber. Kenmer, Kenmer, North Dakota. That's that must have been the one. I'm thinking that was the lumber yard down by the <laughs> downtown. Um, where you go down from the old hardware store. Down by the old Irwin Hotel. Look at that. Made in USA. That's a cute clamp. clamp. Yeah. Anyway. That's a spark plug for the 612 there. <laughs> what is that? Just a pencil? What is that? Yeah, that's a lead pencil. Lead pencil? Yeah. I was looking at that earlier. And you turn the end of it, and the lead comes out. Oh. It's like, that's kind of neat. A wooden one. Oh, wooden, made out of wood. Huh. Anybody knows what that is? Oh yeah, show them that one. We didn't know what that one was either. Some kind of a... We got a guess, but you know, there again, if you know what it is. So, it's got measure two cycles from arrow for heart rate. So our best guess is some type of medical, like, you know, measuring on measuring a monitor. Device. You know, uh, but we don't really know what that one is. Show them the other yeah. side of it. The other side's got metric scale on it, but that's about it. And then it opens. It opens, you know, like a little caliper there, sort of, but... We don't know what that one is. I don't know. Never seen that That's before. kind of the fun of estate sales, so you <laughs> never know what you're going to find. Anything else? This is okay. something like bowling. A bowler's table. What? I don't know. Got little numbers on there. Looks like it goes on your pencil. So I don't know if that's for for something for keeping score for bowling. I huh. don't know. Never seen that before. It either. says bowler's table on it. Huh. <laughs> that's different. The keys. I bought it out of this box. Well, we just need a. Nice adjustable uh, rule, but it needs a... Yeah, it's missing the bubble on that oh, side. Oh, yeah. Looks like it might be a stereo. I was going to say, is that a good name brand one? Or? Uh, looking here. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Stir it. Yeah. Hmm, nice. Because even if the bubble doesn't work, you can still use it for well, the angles. Says, yeah, yeah. For the, yeah. Yeah, those ain't cheap if you go to buy a new one, that's for sure. The old-fashioned tape measure, the rule. Not a tape measure. Yeah, it's a, what do you call that then? It's a fold. Folding one. They still make these. They still use Carpenters like to use these. Things. Nobody uses those anymore. Oh, yeah, they do. No, they don't. I, I have like never that. seen a Carpenter use one of those. The good Carpenter takes that sucker and he just goes, and <laughs> I tried doing that, and I had a couple pieces. Two tape measures instead of one? <laughs> Stanley. Mm -hmm. Old school carpenters use them. Yeah, yeah. There. That's what you get at estate sales, you know, like we were talking earlier. Not every estate sale is a good estate sale. You got to go to a lot of lemons before you find a good one sometimes. Yeah, well, we thought that might be interesting. Let us know what you think. If you know what any of those mystery things are, leave a comment below.
All right. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.